South Korea showcased for the first time the air-to-air -air missile, AAM, component integrated into its indigenous LSAM long-range air defense system, according to defense analyst Mason's report on X. Unlike the original LSAM-I interceptor, which was primarily designed for high-altitude anti-ballistic missile, ABM roles, this new missile expands the system's capability to counter lower-flying aerial threats including enemy aircraft and cruise missiles. The LSAM interceptor is produced domestically and aims to replace older US-supplied air defense missiles. Mass production is underway, and the Republic of Korea is developing a naval version to succeed the American SM series missiles currently in service. South Korea is also pursuing export opportunities with countries in the Middle East, as well as Poland, Australia, the Philippines and several northern European nations. Meanwhile, work is progressing on the next-generation LSAM-2 system, promising even greater performance. Developed by LIG Next one the new AAM is part of a versatile launcher capable of deploying both ABM and AAM missiles simultaneously, allowing a single battery to engage multiple types of threats. Hanwha Aerospace handles production of the ABM interceptor, while Hanwha Systems supplies the Advanced Large Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA radar critical for target detection and tracking. The AAM itself is engineered for rapid, long-range interceptions and can operate effectively in both air defense and missile defense roles. Technical details suggest the missile exceeds 150 kilometers in range and flies between Mach 4 and Mach 5, using a two-stage propulsion system, a solid rocket booster combined with a high-energy sustainer stage for extended flight at high altitude. Its guidance integrates inertial navigation with mid-course data updates via Datalink, finishing with an active radar seeker that enables precise terminal homing. This seeker technology supports engagements in contested electromagnetic environments and allows the missile to intercept highly maneuverable targets. The vertical launch design permits all-direction targeting without mechanical repositioning, reducing reaction time and expanding engagement coverage. The ASA radar linked with the LSAM system reportedly detects targets up to 600 kilometers away, enabling simultaneous multi-target tracking and engagement. When compared to established Western systems, South Korea's LSAM AAM demonstrates several modern advantages. The US Pac-2 GMT missile, while effective against tactical ballistic missiles and aircraft, depends on older semi-active radar homing, requiring continuous radar illumination of the target. In contrast, the LSAM AAM's active radar seeker enables fire and forget capability, increasing launch platform survivability and reducing engagement delays. The US SM-2 family, though reliable and networked, remains limited to naval use and lacks the LSAM's modular launcher commonality. Competing systems like Israel's David Sling and Europe SAMP slash TNG match the LSAM in category, but South Korea's missile stands out by combining ABM functionality with cost benefits through local manufacturing. Operationally, the LSAM's dual missile loadout offers notable strategic flexibility. Defense commanders can customize launcher configurations based on threat types, whether facing cruise missile swarms, drone attacks, or ballistic missile barges. The AAM's active seeker allows decentralized firing in environments with degraded electronic support. Its extended reach fits well within a layered air defense network that includes shorter-range Korean systems such as the KM-SAM, Chonggung-2, and the Sea-Dome South Korea's version of the Iron Dome. The system's mobility enables forward deployment to shield key military infrastructure like airbases, command centers, and logistics hubs. The ASA radar's capability to track multiple targets also enhances defense against stealthy or hypersonic threats. This unveiling carries strategic significance amid heightened regional tensions. North Korea's expanding missile test program, featuring intermediate-range ballistic missiles and maneuvering re-entry vehicles, intensifies Seoul's need for an autonomous, layered missile defense shield independent of foreign suppliers. Concurrently, China's assertive air and naval maneuvers near the Korean peninsula press South Korea to strengthen its deterrence measures. South Korea's move to field a homegrown missile replacing older U.S. systems marks a shift toward defense self-reliance and industrial sovereignty. It aligns with broader regional trends as nations such as Japan, Australia, and India upgrade their missile defenses to counter-evolving threats. By promoting the LSAM as an export product, Seoul aims to challenge traditional suppliers, boost its defense industry footprint, and deepen diplomatic security partnerships worldwide. In summary, Integrating a sophisticated air-to-air -air missile into the LSAM platform signifies a leap forward for South Korea's missile defense capabilities. It enhances protection of the homeland and expeditionary forces alike, while offering a cost-effective, high-tech alternative to Western systems. As the LSAM family evolves, it will play a pivotal role in shaping South Korea's defense posture and ambitions as a global arms exporter.